So what about this for an outdoor space? We have completely transformed this garden from a simple lawn into this beautiful patio, shelter and outdoor kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to be talking you through this. first arrived at this project um, we literally had a lawn here which I think is about 120 square meters of lawn there was no patio or anything else here um, so what we did was we brought the diggers in and all the, the plant machinery we actually had to take out uh, a fence panel over there to get the diggers in because the access through there is just a small gate it was too small to get diggers and dumper trucks in um, so we took out this panel the main road is just behind there so it worked really really well so the first thing we did was to dig this whole area down about 150 mil, which is six inches. Um, and then we brought in lots of scalpings, hardcore, and all of that was whacked down. So we've got a nice solid bed. We then put this Indian sandstone patio down all the way from the far side of the house, all the way up to this summer house that you can see here. These steps were actually taken out as well so that we could get it right up and then they were replaced afterwards. Um, so once that was done, we then started uh, putting the timber frame in for the shelter. Uh, and this started with just concreting the posts, the four timber posts over there. They're six inches by six inches. Concrete those into the ground and then start building the timber structure uh, for this shelter. So this roof is a simple um, sort of gable to hitch construction. Uh, so what that means is you've got just a square end at one end and then a hipped end at the other. So if you want to come and have a look under here, we've basically got three triple um, joists that we've put all the way around and those create the plates for our roof to sit on. They sit on top of the posts. You've then got your two hip rafters there. You've got your ridge along there. And then you've got all of your rafters that go up to there. Um, we put these collars in as well across. And what that does is it stops the roof from um, splitting like that. So the whole thing is tied together like a triangle. So it's solid. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, we've put ply on the underside so that when you look up, you don't have to see the felt or the battens. Um, and then on top of the roof, we have used uh, slates. So you can see up there, just simple slates. It gives a really clean um, and contemporary finish. So let's have a look at the kitchen now and how we built this. Um, firstly, this is ginormous. There's so much space here. I think it's about four meters wide. In fact, the, the, the shelter is 5.4 meters wide, I think. So actually it is just under five meters wide. You've got so much space in here to move around in. Look at all this floor space. So With much, your aerobics in here, so many activities. All your preparation and everything like that. Um, so as you may have seen on some of our previous builds, um, this was built using concrete blocks and then a monocouche render finish. Um, for the worktops, we used um, steel gray, which you may have seen before as well. Now this um, has, the way that it's polished, it's got raised like smooth areas and it looks like there's like water or droplets um, like on there. It's a really, really nice finish. So you'll notice also the fence over there. That used to be, I think, a brown fence that was just sort of curved like that. We'll just walk around there. And so what we did, and that came along. So this wall here that you can see actually comes along all the way to the far end and it goes around the property like that. And they had these like brown, um, fence things like that. So what we did actually, well, to start with, we put these fence panels on. This is um, just like feather edge um, fencing. 
we put them on high with a view to cutting them off afterwards, but the customer really liked the privacy that of, so we, we actually left them at this height. Um, but what you'll notice here is that this wall along here and that wall along there are brand new. So we built this one up on top of the existing wall so that they could have more privacy because you've got the outside road over there. Um, and the same over there. So that brick wall over there was built from the floor up to where it is now. And that just creates us a really nice um, sort of back to the kitchen. And you can see it's given them somewhere to put shelves and all their accessories. Okay. <laughs> so let's run around and have a look at some of these accessories then. So this one here is a Napoleon double fridge. It's got a blue light in there. Tons and tons of space in there. You can see how many drinks that they've got in there. Um, brilliant um, outdoor fridge there. Here you can see we've literally just created some open shelving. It just, it's a really nice feature to have this, like especially if you've got um, pizza ovens and things like that, it's a good space to keep peels and other things. Um, you could fill it full of logs as well, which would be another thing that would look really nice, but it's just good to have open shelving just to show off some bits and pieces that you want to. Um, coming along to here, we've got a pull-out bin. So that's a beef eater stainless pull-out bin. Um, we've got a double socket over there. Um, oh, it's always worth mentioning as well, if we have a quick look around here, we created this bar area as well, um, which is amazing. So you've got, they've got four chairs along there. So, you know, plenty of space there for all your friends. We put one of the customer's ideas actually was to put these bricks in just to break up the render on the back there. Now those bricks match the bricks from the walls. Um, but that's actually a really good idea. It just it breaks up that whole space of render. Um, and these chairs are super comfy as well. <laughs> okay, coming back after that little detour, um, they've got a bell here as well. I think that's for, for drinks or something like that when you get thirsty. Um, over here, this has to be the nicest wine rack that I've ever seen. I'm not sure what it's made of, um, some sort of a trunk or, or something, but it's just beautiful, really, really nice. Uh, nice plant over there. They've dressed this kitchen so nicely with all their, their bits and pieces. Um, over here, this is the Napoleon Prestige Pro 665. Um, you've definitely seen these if you've been watching our previous videos. Um, fantastic grill. I have done a review for this. Um, so if you're interested in getting one of those, I'll leave a link up there. You can go over and watch that once you've finished watching this video. Underneath here, we've just got the standard uh, double stainless steel doors and that's purely um, for storage and for keeping uh, the gas tanks. Um, coming around to here, another plant there. This actually, Denise the customer was telling, this was given to her by one of her friends. Um, and this is for the pizza oven. You can put dough in there and actually, uh, you can actually make bread in it. So it's like a bread bowl that you can put into the pizza oven to make bread. Uh, so that's a great idea. This here is the Alpha 5 Minuti wood-fired oven. Fantastic piece of kit. Um, again, I've done another video on this if you want to watch that, if you're interested in it. Um, I'll leave a link up there so you can go and watch that video. Uh, I think it's a review of that against its sort of its younger brother, the Alpha Nano, both really good ovens. Underneath here, basket to hold all the wood. That's a really good look, I love that. And then over here, you can see that they've just put up all of their you know, their barbecue utensils and things like that. They've got a nice shelf there with all their drinks. Um, Sonos there as well. I think Denise was saying they put Sonos up in the, um, in the rafters as well. They have actually. Um, so you can see up in that corner, they've got, so they've got music in here. Um, they've got two speakers here and here. Sorry, not speakers, um, heaters. Um, so that when all the friends and family are sat here, they can stay nice and warm. Uh, we've got loads of up down lights all the way around, which look particularly good, I think on the walls here. We've got them either side of the barbecue and either side of the shelf there. We also put them all the way along the fence down there. So at night, when these are all lit up, it looks really, really cool. So what a change this is from start to finish, from a simple lawn to what they've got now. What a fantastic space to entertain all your friends and family. And they've dressed it really, really nicely as well with all of their bits and pieces that they put in there, but also their like, uh, dining chairs and table there and all the sort of the hedging that they've got along there the whole thing just works really really nicely um, so 
one I'm really, really proud of. Absolutely love building this kitchen. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, we try and post one of these once a week. So if you're interested in watching these, you might want to subscribe to the channel, hit the alert button. You'll get notified every time we bring out a new video. We also have Instagram and Facebook. Head over there and follow us if you want to see what we are currently up to. We try and post on there a couple of times a week. So thanks very much for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.